morning guys today's day three of a snapchat i keep saying snapchat the instagram stories um yeah hi i woke up really late today like 11 o'clock because i went to bed like three i'm getting my eight hours sleep no matter what like joe rogan said or whatever it really helps a lot plus it's so good and so easy to sleep here because i don't know stress-free ish also today I'm gonna to start recording like this because this is obviously the best way to record. Um, I was gonna see if I can do Instagram stories like this and hopefully whatever. You guys let me know if this works, okay, with your phone. Alright? Because I wanna make sure it works for both you know everybody. Today you guys are just gonna follow me around while I do absolutely nothing. I got a lot of work to do on the computer. I gotta do the laundry thingy, so maybe you'll come with me for that. And then I'm just gonna go get food later. That's it. I got a lot of shit to do. I've been kinda of behind. But kind of also, about the food out here, it's fucking phenomenal, it really is for the most part, but it's not as healthy per se, it's pretty carb heavy, I've noticed, but again, I'm working so much, working out so much, I, I'm, I don't see myself getting fatter, I just was fucking... Damn, um, I kind of messed up. I got too distracted working on the computer, and it's about to rain, and it seems like it's about to rain really hard, and I still haven't taken the laundry to the laundromat. I'm debating on what to do here. Fudge. <laughs> all right, I think I'm gonna bite the bullet and get all this going, all right? I'm gonna, it's only like a block away. If I hurry, I think I'll be all right. If I get wet, well, that's what she said. All right, it's raining, just sprinkling for now, but if I don't hurry, it's gonna get worse. Oh, let me walk, let me watch where I'm walking, by the way. It's not like these streets are fucking paved. That was pretty easy. Um, actually, the hardest fucking part was staying dry, which obviously I'm not, I'm all wet. But not so bad, whatever. Actually, the hardest part is fucking walking and talking like a fucking idiot. You know, the whole laundry thing comes out to like around five, six bucks. It comes out to six dollars. That's like what I used to spend up to doing my own fucking self in fucking quarters and spend all fucking day doing it. Say hello to my little friend. Yeah, he's not so little, but he is my friend. We actually have a lot of crypto news to cover today. Um, I'm just gonna roll a blunt, chillax a little bit because I've been working all morning already on the computer and I'm gonna make a video. EOS, Ethereum, what's going on with everything. Also, side note, it was really hot and muggy and sticky and fucking nasty out there today. And I was only out there for five minutes because of the rain, humidity, heat, no bueno. Again, reminder, I'm not in a swamp, thank God. Just finished recording a vlog with my trusty buddy over here. And we're about to edit it and upload it for you guys. All right? The day in the life. There really was a lot of crypto news today. I mean, for real. And um, honestly, I might be doing more than one video. Obviously, you already got my Instagram stories as well coming. And it's just constant. I've been indoors all day. It's even been fucking raining. So, I mean... I just want to say I really appreciate you guys more than you could even imagine and I'm just so happy that I get to be here for you guys doing these little stories, doing the crypto videos and just doing everything as a whole. I love being a fucking Cuban journalist. Also, this has nothing to do with anything. I just wanted to talk about Tinder for one second. You know, I have like so many, you know, hits on Tinder and I can understand now how a popular girl can ghost guys or not talk to guys or get lost. Or how talking to somebody can just get lost in the whole whatever because that's happening to me right now. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying it's really fucking cool. And it's fucking awesome. And I fucking love Mexico. I mean, I just fucking love it. I can't wait to get it. I can't wait to go out tonight. I don't know if I'm going on a date or not, but I'm definitely going to go, go on a date with myself. Get some tacos. And I'm getting two of those fucking rice pudding ice creams tonight. I don't give a fuck. I, I, I'm going to have to. And I can't bring them back because they melt, so I got to eat them. Hey guys, so I've been hard at work today, making many videos, as you can see, 
lots of news out there today. So, anyways, I love it out here. I love what I do. So, anyways, guys, um, I'm really am taking it to the next level in the sense that, like, I'm just recording videos and making them and uploading and just doing it, you know, reporter style, like a good journalist, like you guys have told me I'm doing. So, you know, got to do it. Don't know who you're talking to, so let me clue you in. I am not in danger, Skyler. I am the danger. A guy opens his door and gets shot, and you think that of me? No. I am the one who knocks. It's been such a fucking long day. Anyways, got a couple videos coming, and even this one coming. I gotta go shower and get some food. I'm hungry. All right, as you can see, I gotta leave, I'm leaving the computer cooling off. I gotta go get some dinner. It's getting late. I gotta hurry the fuck up because I'm fucking starving. And I gotta come back and start uploading and do more. Damn, bummer. Everything is fucking closed. I found this one little restaurant. Let me have some quesadillas and whatever. You know, hopefully make it to the supermarket and get something sweet afterwards. Hopefully the ice cream place is open. They can have a lot of those ice creams from last night. Anyways, lesson learned. Everything does close early as fuck out here, all right? Well, at least in this, my part of the neighborhood. It's a working class neighborhood, so I gotta be out of here. I gotta be out here by 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, the latest. You know, I'm trying to figure out if I should, you know, wait till tomorrow so I can try all these and make like a little video out of it or something. Um, what do you think? I think I ate them all. Anyway, I guess the video is going to be really short. They're, they came out really good. They're really good. I like them. All right, so these taste like dulce leche. These taste like coconut. These little wafers with chocolate. These marzipan. You already know these motherfuckers. And I don't know these yet. All right, these are all really good. Fuck, better than expected. All right, I'm gonna go edit the videos, upload these, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this adventure. The record button is all sticky with sugar. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please share. Please watch me on YouTube or watch me on Instagram or just Google me, I'm out there. So, if you enjoyed my fat ass adventures through Mexico, or at least through Merida, Mexico, um, just subscribe, keep watching, um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day.